Uh, at least I know what I'm doing. Need a minor distraction, Ready. nothing major. There's no point starting a fight here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or if you're gonna start a fight, it might as well be in this particular room. Right here. Huh? Uh, actually, we can go to the other one. Save there. Because we have uh, disarmed a lot of traps here. Uh, invisibility duration is 24 hours, so it'll, it'll last. There's no way we can get through. So something has to be done. I'm inclined to disarm some of the extra traps because there's no way this is gonna go our way purely. But I just keep an order for people to walk somewhere to say it's rare that they follow the order specifically. They'll go all over the place to do some tours. Disarm this, I think. Okay, more or less, I suppose, the operations we can reasonably do are done. Sure. Ready. Fine, fine. I'm much curious about what's on the old here. Ring of the Will-O-Wisp shoots out a spray of modes once per day. Uh, what is modes? The damage 44, magic touch, con. Seriously? Do you see if you're invisible or not? Hi. By going into the next room and seeing if everyone's gonna attack us, that's probably the easiest way. Hi. Yep. I have no interest in the ring. Sure. It's uh, I don't Hi. see anything even remotely interesting about it. Okay. It, we have to do it either two way in a very long, tedious fight, which is not a bad option necessarily. Or alternatively, we'll have to mm -hmm. do a little bit of a detour sure. thing to get some of them to move. Problem is, I need to attack them for a while before they all. So, if anyone else sees me, they'll immediately take part in the fight. That's the biggest problem. Uh, maybe I'm not seeing it.
Mm -hmm. I watch me go. We need the first thing we need to do is Yeah, sounds good. Uh, I need Ready. to Easy as not see mind. these. So I know what I can actually see huh? with Milo and what I can. Good. I need to start with the uh, stone skin so I can take a few hits. Where's the location where at least... Okay, that seems reasonable. I attack that one. Attack with that one. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, yeah, it needs some melee attack. Do I have any kind of melee weapon? Not really, no, but this would reduce the penalties I'm gonna get. Yeah, it's not for me apparently. Well, whatever. Maybe not. They shouldn't be able to see me. They can sort of react to me, but they shouldn't be able to attack me. Yeah, this is getting a bit tough to move around in. I, this is something I actually despise. Basically, they they see me even though they can't possibly see me. So I'm being fucked over by this impossible AI that not just knows of it could be abused probably somehow I mean they're clicking there quite nicely who are they following by the way they're her okay why Basically, can I get this open? Okay. Uh, do you use some kind of mechanism? I am neighbor calls me. So this is much more complex than I uh, initially thought. So there's no way to really just go through here. The door goes into somewhere else. Yep. Yeah. It has a rocks chamber. So we cannot go there. Ready. Watch me go. I see my love, no one else. A lot of shit there waiting for us. Ooh. 
we probably have to kill the prince. I, I don't see anywhere about this. Please don't go anywhere else. There's no traps about. How can I help? How can we help indeed? Kill the prince quickly. I'm not sure. Well, we go full on with the dragon killing spells. Yeah, I think we yeah. do it quickly. Not sure if I want to do that. There's still a chance we'll just have what we have against the dragon. That's uh, that's gonna be shit. So Logan Prince is dead. I... Plane key. Coral plate armor. Oh, here. What is a coral plate armor? Some resistance is negative on dexterity. It's a piece of shit. That's what it is. Local well, protection plus one, yeah, they don't really offer anything too interesting. Ready. Still, she's in a bit of a bind. But if we could get Path out of here, then she... We would just have to create an opening. That's uh, something she, she could exploit. Ready. Good. I'm here. Dark skin armor. Uh, I don't want to see that. Right. I think we should kill that one. Anything we need to bypass here, even no matter what, how much we want to bypass things, we're still gonna have to deal with certain realities. I can't just bypass everything. Why? Why? I will do as you ask. Not a problem. Quickly erase the request. All right. So Ready. only thing we need to do Ready. is uh, get her here to make the next yes, I will there. do as you ask. Okay. How could we realistically do that? <sighs> Someone needs to act as a decoy, basically. I'm here. Yes. Maybe not just one, but I am ready. he would be the fastest. We could get these guys to follow us and uh, create the opening. If not, we're just gonna have to fight Definitely. here, which is gonna be shit, but might be our uh, only option. This is not necessary, strictly speaking, but uh, my biggest worry is that we get trapped somehow here. 
That's that's the worst possible outcome. A reasonable request. So we want fast moving ones who are gonna make them run around a little bit. And we need to be ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. I think can follow us. Can't get strapped here. I'm not sure what the fuck you Quickly. think you're doing. Agreed. Lock them. What is required? Very well. Ready. I go back, pull back, pull I'm back, here. pull back, pull back, go, 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 go. Not a good solution, but solution. So, you dare to follow me here. I think you will find that to be a fatal mistake. Fatal only to you. Spoken like a true hero. Shall we put those words to the test? Before we do, there's something I would know. Why do you hate the Ten Towns so much? Ages ago, Dragonkind roamed Faerun freely. Then the civilized races came to power and began to encroach upon our lands. Bloody wars were fought in which your kind launched entire armies upon us. Against such numbers, even we soon fell. Now we are solitary creatures who hide in caves in faraway lands. We fear sleep, for it is often the sleep of death if we are discovered. And getting to the Ten Towns? I was slain fighting for my homeland against an invading army. I own him, a man of the ten tongues, wielded the blade that broke my heart. An invading army? History paints a different picture in Kassarat. Yes, and history is written by the victors as they say. It is also said that history repeats itself. I wish in dialogue mode the music would be a little bit sort of toned down to not to interfere with the spoken dialogue. Look at the plight of the barbarians. Even now, they are being driven from their lands by the ten towns. Soon they will be left with two choices, extinction or absorption. They are a proud people and will not bend. They will choose extinction. Yeah. So. This is a pretty common thing that everything has to be. Everyone has to make in any kind of civilization. Either you're at the top or you absorb to at least some extent. An entire culture will vanish, lost forever, all in the name of civilization, just as my culture has been lost. Yeah, I find it hard to believe that you were doing this out of altruism. When I awakened from my sleep, I looked upon the world anew, and I was shocked to see how little had changed. My lands were still in the hands of the Ten Towns. The plight of the barbarians had not changed at all. I saw a kindred spirit in Wolfdane, so I joined with him to end this tragedy once and for all. Tell me something else. You were slain almost a century ago. Why did it take so long for you to awaken? The sword of Ionan had a special enchantment, almost an intelligence of its own. 
When the fatal blow was struck, it somehow knew that I would be born anew. The blade broke, sacrificing itself that I might be trapped. My spirit lay within my shattered heart at the bottom of Lac Dinishere. I can only guess that the blade was removed, allowing my spirit to go free. I now hold the Sword of Ionin. It has been forged anew and now sings with a life of its own. Yes, I sensed the blade when you first entered here and was concerned. However, I now see that the original enchantment was not restored. It is of no consequence. The Kassarak. I'd rather we come to some sort of agreement than fight. Can we do this? Never. My heart was shattered long ago, and all mercy bled from the wound. I lost my love, my life, and my kingdom. I shall reclaim it all, or I will pass into oblivion like most of my kind. Draw your blade. Let us end this now. We're not exactly in great shape, and a single breath attack will basically fuck us over permanently. Ready. So and if you could just movies. fuck yeah. off on the yes. front lines for a while, that would be great. Uh, I don't know what to expect from him. It's a suspiciously large area if this is the only thing we have to fear. Speak your mind. This might be a trick to this fight. I don't know what it would be, but still. Very well. Hmm? We go. You need me? Right away. I am ready. Labor calls me. I. Your desire? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sort of interested in seeing what yes. kind of spells By he's going to initiate this fight with. <laughs> Royal High Priestess. What sort of prayed that something like this might be coming our way. I doubt we can really take him down unless we could do something about the support first. Okay, what is this? Royal Guard, King... Yeah. There's something there, I don't know what the fuck that is. Some kind of dragon thing. I don't think it particularly matters what we throw his way. I am ready. I shall do my best. You need me? Very well. I want to see if there are any surprises here waiting for us. They seem to be taking them out of the fight too. Which is fine. Okay, you are not doing anything. Save versus fail. Get your malice and incoming.
Greater malice and is the key to actually doing something useful to it. So that's something we have to concentrate on. Uh We lower his saving throws through recitation. Worth a try. Yes. What is your Okay, you two go together and see what you can come up with. Serac is stunned. <gasps> oh yeah, but now it's starting to look bad. Melison, 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 Melison. So now we can start push the stone. Pile up the really real shit on it. Uh, try to survive. What you do, just keep them steady for a while. Yes. Mm. Use a scroll. I don't want this to fail. starting to be in trouble stunned again I don't think he's really stunned though it's basically immune to all that sort of shit I might be able to oh, finger her finger her a little bit it's the only opportunity where I can do that the king the little guard under priestesses um, I think we would be better off basically trying to get rid of the beasts if they can throw some debuffs around and the, I think the priest is, priestess is coming to uh, yeah. heal her. That's what I would do. Integration didn't work, surprise, surprise. I think it's basically immune to every kind of that kind of instant death shit. I'm not sure why I even bother trying it. The priest is on the other hand probably even What exactly are we going to do? Take no prisoners. My priestess is dead. Ready. Ah, <sighs> good enough. Hmm. 
would have to the hell have the specialty arrows you did, right? So you're all the way there, that's not gonna help. Do we have any kind of specialty arrows? We just Spells. What is required? These two can. They're probably in a better position than the rest of the guys. I don't think they have anyone here to send anymore. To screw us over. But we're in a fairly good position at the moment. Try to keep him alive a little better, I guess. But he has no real buffs or anything that I can see. So there's almost no point in trying to uh, get rid of them. Might as well just spam whatever comes. Our way, with this. your command. Agreed. Uh, what else could they have in store? Right, there's like one rogue guards and the king. What close? I don't want anyone to lose their nerve at this Ready. point. But yeah, I'm basically just wasting my time doing something. Um, haste. I'll cast haste once the rest of the group comes here. You need me? Very well. Take no prisoners! This Yeah, it's not going to end here. What's what's the next thing that'll happen? Well, we got fifty thousand experience out of that. What is happening? The royal guard then. Dragon scales, shark skin, and coral armor. Crap and crap. Something slightly amusing, I suppose, this loot. Clock of displays, another one. Ah, what about you? Spear plus one, well, what we fucking do? This is a strength combo. It's also shit. Is that all? Um. Uh, it's a Rex soldier. Okay. Yes. Some kind of a cactus polka being cast somewhere. Your life is ah, the soldier is so casting somewhere. Oh, you are proving yourself to be most annoying. Yeah, I, I get that. Disrupted whatever it was trying to do. 
Yeah, it's uh, I'm not actually worried about it. Right here. Speak your mind. Of course. Spear wielder is more than capable of taking it down. I think it's immune to range weapons too. And now it's moving somehow. And the dragon cries. <gasps> Your characters have been explored. So, end of more or less end of the expansion. Uh, we'll see what happens next. Additional spell casting options. Yay. Open locks, what a worthless piece of shit skill. <sighs> hmm. I guess it had a couple of uses. Just gain access to 8 level spells. 8 level spells, okay. That doesn't really matter at the moment. Not a problem. Ooh, and the cleric got something. Other new spells. I wonder if the enemies are still waiting for us here. Because if they, they are, we are. There's probably a more dangerous situation than we have here. How can I help? Although we can buff ourselves quite severely, I, I didn't have time to buff myself really against that. So. A lot of nice things left unused. With the death of a Kassarog spirit, centuries of hate were at long last put to rest. The tribes of the north and the people of the ten towns sheathed their weapons and resumed their uneasy watchfulness of each other. It was a peace of sorts, for as long as peace ever lasts. Wolfdane's body was returned to the burial isle. With his return, the wailing of the virgins fell silent and they slept beneath the earth with their king once again. And of those brave ones that came to defend the north, what of you? As I look upon you all, I see you as you once were, as you will be, branching out to glittering futures. Tales follow you, and tales await you, as they always do for those whose hearts yearn for adventure and glory. Though I need not say more of your future, for all that I have spoken of, all that I have seen, shall be revealed to you in time. Right, so it literally just ends there. Yeah, this is a terrible way to. Well, it's a it's an adventure on its own. So, but I I feel it's a much better probably if you just incorporate it as part of this. So don't play it separately. It's just it's a part of this. Uh, yeah, it's it's like a fucking tumor on the main game. That's what it is. In a less linear game, that such things don't really uh, aren't so obvious. Here, it's uh, yeah, it, it stands out and not necessarily a good way. Um,
I'm trying to think of any good fights here, and I think there might have been a couple in the in the desert fortress uh, sort of thing. But in this the extra actual hard winter part, I, I don't I don't recall a single one. Just like copy pasted encounters uh, spread all over the maps. Just I, I don't think that expansion is all that good. Uh, the good things from the expansion probably come from the fact that it will probably expand the level cap initial, I mean when it came out, expanded the level cap, brought new spells, new equipment, that sort of thing into the game. So it improves the main game too and it expands on it, it gives you new new content to play through. But uh, new things, water elemental shooting it just it's just weaker than a lot of things, especially on the end game of Icewind Dale itself. Uh, I think the initial game, I felt that it was sort of like this, like a lot of trash, just throwing you thrown your way, so you can continually hack and slash something in, instead of doing something interesting, interesting fights or troll play. Uh, I suppose. You could say that yeah, this is supposed to be a hack, a hack and slash game. So no shit. the The problem I have with that is that Iceman Tales 2 is a hack and slash game too, but it does this much better. Even from a lowly low level character, you still have interesting fights because there's some kind of usually tactical consideration that you can do there, or you can sneak past certain things so you can affect how the fights are gonna end. I I'm thinking of initially you have a couple of goblin fights at the harbor in Iceman Tale 2. There to be fair you can't do all that much but immediately after that you have all situations with the oryx. Uh, environment used to block you, barrels used to explode, They're, they have hostages that if you are sneaking out you can I think you can pipe past them a little bit and try to rescue them while the orcs are trying to going to try to blow them up immediately when they spot you. So there are things that you can do and they're they're about as exciting things as a low level character can expect. Uh, here we on the other hand we have a fairly high level adventure overall. I mean you ha you are around level 12, 13 plus uh, and well, there's, there's nothing particularly strong wrong with the stories being told in either the Desert Fortress or the Heart of Winter campaign. The actual encounters tend to be fairly dull. Just monsters spread about all over the place. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's a... Uh, it's more. I I, I, w I would like to say more of the same, but it, that's sort of the problem. It's not more of the same. It's it's more, but it's of the quality that you're not sure. Are you thankful for the more you just got? Uh, I. Thank God for invisibility spells, I'll, I'll say that much. But yeah, I, I didn't enjoy this all that much. Uh, there were some interesting things, like, but they were mostly not combat things, like things you want to figure out in the town. Someone has a, a hidden, hidden room behind a, a mirror. If you just figure that out, uh, maybe some dialogue options with the people figuring things that out. It was much more interesting than the actual fighting the game provided. A couple of exceptions excluded. So it's it's not like it's all shit or anything like that, but it's mostly just trash mobs and yeah. If that's the core of your game in any game, you have to have a very interesting fighting system itself that then it doesn't really matter how the fight happens, and you that you can still very much enjoy it. But I, I don't think the Infinity game engine is like that. It's uh, 
it's good for tactical combat and roleplay. You you gotta have one or the other. If if you can manage both, then Jesus fuck, that's a great game. But I I, I feel I feel this sort of is weak. The part of Winter part is sort of weak on both. Icewind Dale. I suppose the end sort of game. I don't know where. Sort of, but uh, I'm trying to remember. I think there were tactical considerations in a lot of the boss fights, but even then, there was a lot of trash fights before you got to that point. But I, I do recall there would be more things you could do if you played things smart. So I, I would say the Corge campaign is still better than the Heart of Winter. 